I chose to go into epilepsy research uh, way back before I studied medicine. I was studying biomedical science and I was majoring in neuroscience and I was fascinated by this. Uh, I'm Dr. John Archer, neurologist at Boston Health uh, and head of the EEG laboratory. Uh, epilepsy is a condition of the brain uh, where there's abnormal electrical activity. Epilepsy is the fourth most common brain disorder after migraine, stroke and Alzheimer's disease. Epilepsy affects about 3% of people at some point in their life. At Austin Health we've actually been researching epilepsy for decades now to uh, improve treatments and patient outcomes. In 1995, uh, Ingrid Sheffer and Professor Sam Berkovic with their colleagues in Adelaide uh, discovered the really the first gene responsible for epilepsy. Imaging is a real strength here at the Austin. Particular things that we do well here at the Austin are functional imaging, in other words, imaging the brain in action using combined functional imaging and uh, EEG brainwaves to see where uh, epileptic activity is coming from in the brain. Epilepsy is really a, a, is, is a broad category. There are many different causes of epilepsy and seizures. Currently the underlying cause of, of why someone has epilepsy is unknown. More than 70% of people become seizure free on medication and continue to lead a normal, active life, fully engaged, working, and of course if they're seizure free, driving. At Austin Health, we're really excited to be um, afforded the opportunity to study a group of patients that have really severe epilepsy. We've developed this trial uh, of a technique known as deep brain stimulation, which is really using like a pacemaker box in the chest to deliver small electrical impulses deep into the brain try and modify the abnormal electrical activity that we know causes seizures. And we're targeting a particularly severely affected group of patients. The patients are having multiple daily seizures and we're well into the project and we're seeing some very encouraging early results with patients being more awake and alert. We'll see what the final results are when we come to the end of the study but it's, a, it's an exciting time.